Hey, what's going on YouTube Paradox here and welcome back to my channel. Alright, so for today's episode, I'm going to showcase I'm going to be showcasing Prime Whitebeard gameplay and I got to say the reason why I hesitate a bit in showing Whitebeard gameplay is because number 1, I am never a good attacker user. <laughs> number 2, Whitebeard himself is really not easy to use. Number 3, I tried to really have a good match against uh, Roger because you know like prime white beard against uh, against uh, prime Roger is what usually all of us want to see however I don't really I can't really get a perfect or good gameplay against uh, opponent uh, with uh, many Rogers so yeah hence why I hesitate a bit in uploading white beard uh, white beards gameplay um, anyways, uh, nonetheless, I'm able to have quite decent gameplays to show to you guys. Like, not the best. I, I believe that other YouTubers have uploaded much better gameplay. But hey, let's uh, go through with it, yeah? Uh, so first, let's have a look at his trait. Um, reduce freeze time by 80%, 95 tremor. And when an ally from your team is KO'd, increase defense by 10%. And increases up to 50% but resets once KO. So this is really, I'd say this trade is awesome. Um, but the drawback is that it is ally dependent in the sense that you need to usually, for you to get this kind of uh, trade uh, um, to be optimized, right? You will usually get it, I think, around 2 minutes or perhaps uh, 1 minute and 30 seconds when uh, the game have, you know, go through so yeah point is in order for you to get this buff it's going to take some time depending on your ally all right uh and if your ally survive like throughout the whole match then well pff, you you pretty much don't get this buff anyways next when dealing damage on the third hit of a normal attack combo 50 percent chance to inflict tremor so again amazing trait but uh my personal opinion uh his third hit normal attack is pretty slow so unless you are used to it, it's not it's not that easy to land that tremor towards opponent. Uh, especially now that people are aware of his third hit, right? So they usually dodge uh, upon receiving White Beard's second hit, so that the third hit won't um, so that the tremor won't hit them. Okay. So trade one when attacking enemy in the area around enemy's treasure, increase damage dealt by thirty percent. So a normal attacker trait, uh, and after killing an enemy, increase attack by fifteen percent, increases up to seventy five percent, but resets once KO'd. So not bad, but you need to kill an enemy first, which is not that easy either. Okay, and uh, trait two when your allies are near the treasure area where you are at, resist stagger and being down, and reduce damage received by thirty percent. So in other words, if you use white beard, preferably you need to fight alongside ally but the drawback of fighting alongside ally is that if let's say uh, you 2v1 an opponent right and you are able to land your tremor on the opponent most of the time your ally will try to steal the kill so yeah that's that's to me is always uh is what always happens in a match when attacking an enemy inflicted with tremor reduce the cooldown time of skill 2 by 15 percent okay so this is a good trade as well um, and boost trait increase critical damage deal by 10% so all in all his trait although it's uh, like some of them are new and uh, really good but the conditions associated with it is not too for me not too favorable okay I, I wish Whitebeard can be much op, much overpowered and uh, uh, if we look at this comparing to Roger Easily, Roger is a better character compared to Whitebeard, which is sad because we are expecting Whitebeard to be on the same level as him. Okay, so skill one, uh, as you guys already know, it's a mid range skill. Oh, sorry, it's a long range attack, but it kind of feels like uh, mid range to be honest. And uh, skill two uh, is a charge skill. If you charge it, it's gonna be a long range skill, and the reach is more or less like Shanks. If you don't charge it, well, it is kind of more mid-range attack okay and uh, both actually gives you 100% chance to inflict tremor which is really cool 
Okay, um, all right, so um, let's take a look at my character uh, support and uh, metal build. So basically, my green support, um, I think the most that I can get is 155%. But in order for me to utilize um, like a few tags, uh, I need to reduce my uh, support percentage a bit. So as you can see, it is 151.6 and I'm, I'm utilizing Attacker, Paramisha and Newell at level 600, Striat Pirates and Captain at level 500. Although actually for Striat Pirates, I can get it to 600 but I have to use one, I have to use a character that is different element color which I don't want to. So yeah, and the metal set that I'm using on him is the Triple Luffy uh, metal set where I combine um, King Kong Gun Medal with uh, Elephant Gatling Medal and Fe Fire Fist Pistol Red Hawk Medal that gives me 70% um, attack and 70% defense. If I'm not mistaken, I think my yeah, I have extra flat 160 defense here, which means I have a bit more defense compared to other attackers. Alright, so. That's it boys, um, let's get into the gameplay shall we? Alright, so first match, Barretti Stage Knight and um, even though we don't have Roger uh, in our opponent's team but we've got pretty scary uh, characters like we've got Blackbeard, uh, we, we, we even have Luchi I think just now and uh, Luffy, uh, Rayleigh, so yeah. Um, using Whitebeard right, the drawback is that we are back uh, to the same old classic problem that we've had before where uh, we have to be careful going against Blackbeard because like Whitebeard is a DF fruit user and he's an attacker so he's green some more so this guy is truly Blackbeard's fruit so later we'll see anyways um, I'm gonna cast my skill tool here I was a bit lucky my timing is good and I'm able to tremor Oden and kill him as well so okay, Blackbeard here gotta be careful a bit. And okay, look at look at this. Boom, look at that damage. I almost died there. And only have about like 1k health left. So that is crazy, bro. So yeah, I was being a bit careful here. Because one mistake and I'm gonna be dead for sure. Okay, I'm able to land that tremor on him and boom, kill him in the process. So yeah, kinda lucky. 1.295 K uh, half left and that is definitely not much all right so okay I'm, I'm being patient here so I know that Luchi is coming for me so I'm able to get perfect dodge quite lucky and I was thrown, uh, thrown away by his kill one um, but luck is on my side so I've got a team boost so yeah pretty lucky here and I'm able to kill him uh, while having uh, 2k remaining health so yeah i think because we have like black beard in our team right so i've got some uh, health recovery so all right so really here i'm able to land tremor on him twice and kill him with my skill one so yeah again i was pretty lucky because i'm able to dodge his skill earlier so i'm trying to land tremor on a big mom but somehow the attack follows uh, the opponent's order so yeah a bit unlucky but i'm able to uh a kill or then with 12k crit damage so pretty cool so since i don't have many uh, hp decided to stay away a bit and play safe uh, especially when big mom is using uh, her skill one right so it's better to uh, maintain distance and you know wait for uh, her skill one to uh, to die first so okay sh saw that shanks uh, however i missed my skill one a bit unfortunate but boom kill 2 is successful so easy kill i'm able to kill uh shanks and uh, stop Oden from stealing my kill so bad or okay i saw Luf uh, luffy jumping down and he doesn't stand a chance against my uh, white beard because number one i have team boost i'm green element and i do have attack buff as well so yeah if you guys remember uh, white beard do have attack buff once he kills an opponent so yep um, 4 seconds left, uh, 5.752k score and a good job team. So yeah, not bad, not bad. 
I'd say all of my teammates play pretty well and I'm not the MVP I don't know why uh, even though I have about like seven kills and two flat captures <laughs> never mind all right so moving on um, Alabasta Day uh, one of the easy maps I'd say and we have two Roger as our opponent so 184k total party power and we are going against 184k as well so pretty fair matchup um, so we are going against like a five star Roger um, however as you guys should have been aware of even though Roger is five star uh, he is still very deadly <laughs> so yeah anyways um, okay so no defender uh, I'm capturing uh, the first flag um, and yep looking at the map uh, it seems like my team is able to secure the mid flag so good job team and I'm trying to land my tremor from far so yeah, this is one again one, one of the drawback of white beard is that um, you need to, to, to get used to his timing a lot you know so yeah uh, if you end up uh, charging the skill and you know if there is fight going on so sometimes uh, your ally might actually down the opponent and because of that you miss your skill so yeah like you can see just now uh, i was about to kill uh, roger however lofi steal my kill okay so my skill 2 is able to hit um red sabo just now so only red sabo so opportunity here and bam able to kill roger with my skill one so nice and i saw Odin. okay i kind of pressed dodge already but Odin's uh, skill is too fast for me to dodge and avoid um, however thanks to blackbeard i'm able to kill uh, Odin because uh, yeah blackbeard kind of pulled Odin from the flag earlier so i'm a bit lucky here because i've got two meets all for me so thank you bandai <laughs> and i can see that there is a uh, dressosa zoro there okay perfect dodge boom able to hit him with my skill one and time my skill too well so i'm able to land tremor on him and kill him straight away while he is inflicted with tremor so cool okay roger and I'm pretty sure I dodge at the right time, but I don't know why somehow I don't get perfect dodge. And as you can see, I was stunned by Roger's skill one and easily killed by him. That is how OP or overpowered Roger is. So yeah, if you ask me, my honest answer, white beard is nothing. Like can't be compared at all against Roger in One Piece Bounty Rush. Um, yeah, some white beard lovers might not agree with me, but hey, it is the harsh truth and you guys have to accept it. Anyways, uh, I need to kill Marco and try to again steal the B flag back to our side. So there's incoming Roger, but he decided not to attack me. <laughs> Alright, I'm about to use my skill 2 on him, but he was knocked back by Kyoshiro. So yeah, like I said, well, your ally can always disturb your skill too. So a bit annoying, I'd say. That is why I don't really like uh, charge skill. But anyways, a GG team. So kudos to number 4, MG Sushi. So I've got 5 KOs and 3 flat captures, but still I'm not the MVP. Well, I don't care. <laughs> as long as we win. Okay, nice. So the last match that I'm going to be showing to you today is at the Ratty Night Stage as well. And we have one, uh, sorry, two Rogers as our opponent we've got black gear as well so you're pretty scary opponent uh and we've got a lot of um wet dude players here <laughs> i'm not i'm not sure if i'm allowed to say the word but yeah wet dude players are pretty good players and it's an honor to be fighting alongside them okay so we have uh, one defender uh, sorry two defender but i'm gonna be heading to b flag and capture it so yeah using white beard right since uh, his skill to his long range uh, if I'm playing at Baratti Knight, I really prefer to play at the uh, lower deck. Yeah, because uh, long range skill, you can reach uh, the opponent from far. So, yeah, pretty good. Okay, skill 2, I'm pretty sure I time it nice, but uh, I'm just a bit unlucky there. Because Zoro is able to dodge that. 
Boom. Okay, I'm able to land Shimmer here twice, but I was disturbed by Roger's skill too. Bro, that is so annoying. Okay, I saw that uh, Mark, uh, sorry, Mace using his skill, so I kind of retreat back a bit. Bam! Headshot. <laughs> I love a white bit skill one, bro. Like the, the animation is like you are hammering, you know, you are hammering the opponent. So, yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> Okay, uh, I was able to kill Dressrosa Zoro earlier. So yeah, thank god my skill 2 lands perfectly. And uh, right now things are looking good. I'm playing a bit defensive because you know, like Whitebeard can't heal. So yeah, I I'd rather guard the two flags down there. Um, rather than, you know, just blindly attacking opponent at their base flag. Trying to secure a quick win. Okay, so back to our flag. Uh, and I was pulled by Blackbeard and I was uh, I think like one shotted I guess <laughs> that is crazy bro yeah, as, as I mentioned Blackbeard is your biggest fear because yeah it, it is back to the same old pro problem green element uh, attacker devil fruit user so BB food uh, anyways uh, back to using a white beard uh, we've got about like one minute left so saw that Roger and boom, time it nicely. So the, the beauty about charge skill, right? Even though it is slow, you can control control it however you want. So usually if you time it right, uh, the, best, the best way to do it is wait for opponent to dodge first. And then only you can release your charge, charge skill. So yeah, usually if you are fighting against less skilled player, it's easy to bait dodge. That way, however, going against a uh, skilled player is a bit hard. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, uh, 23 seconds left. Decided to uh, defend the flag. Bam! Able to uh, tremor. I think both Snake Man and um, Big Mom. But uh, Big Mom jumped down. So, yeah. I couldn't kill her uh, straight away. But uh, right now, I'm trying to defend the flag as much as possible as best as possible and thank god we are able to do so so all right that's it boys three white beard gameplay from me boost level one hope you guys enjoy it and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video i'll see you next time ciao